Welcome to Right Response, the show that breaks down the latest in conservative news. Today, we're responding to Ben Shapiro's recent radio episode, number 1037, Stop Lecturing Your Parents. This episode covers a wide variety of topics, including the prevalence of racism in America, statues torn down across the country, and generational differences in opinion on race relations and protests today. Ben's first point is that explicit racism virtually doesn't exist. 98% of people in America are not racist, according to him, and America is one of the least racist countries. Measuring racism through polling is very difficult. Who wants to admit that they're a racist? Even the North Carolina cops fired for openly sharing their desire to slaughter black people claim that their comments were venting and not racist. Nevertheless, a 2013 Gallup poll showed that 16% of white people in America still don't approve of interracial marriages. And the Southern Poverty Law Center reported a 30% rise in hate groups over the past four years, mostly due to hysteria over losing the white majority in the country. White nationalist groups in particular grew by 55%. Donald Trump won white voters in a landslide on a campaign based primarily on anti-immigration policies and a slogan of law and order, the old racist dog whistle that was originally used by the Nixon campaign to target black people. Donald Trump won white women by nine points and white men by 31 points. He won white people with college degrees by three points and white people without them by 37 points. In no state did Trump's white support dip below 40%. While Ben believes that systemic racism doesn't exist, black men are 2.5 times more likely than white men to be killed by the police. Black families are three times as likely as white families to have someone incarcerated today than they were in the 1950s. And a study of 100 million traffic stops across the country showed that black people are disproportionately stopped by the police except for at night, because the police can't tell that they are black. Ben goes on to criticize anti-racist protesters across the country for tearing down statues. He claims that we're five seconds away from blowing up Mount Rushmore. So Ben criticizes protesters calling for the removal of Teddy Roosevelt's statue outside the Natural History Museum in New York, but fails to describe the statue to his listeners. That statue is Teddy Roosevelt on horseback, while a stereotypically dressed Native American man and a black slave stand behind him on the ground, as Teddy presumably leads them to civilization. This is on top of founding fathers not living up to American ideals. Jefferson claimed that black people were inferior to whites in both mind and body, and George Washington fought for freedom while claiming ownership over hundreds of human beings. The truth is, statues rise and fall for this very reason. They're woefully inadequate as reminders of history in its totality. These statues were put up by past generations, which Ben would use to support his claim that things are better now than they were back then, which is why he tells young people to stop lecturing their parents and stop protesting. But the protesters in the streets are not protesting against statues. They are protesting what the statues represent, which is the systemically racist society we just explained, a society which is still systemically racist today. Ben criticizes an artist in New York for protesting against his parents' will, calling him privileged and unaware of, quote-unquote, how much better things are now. Well, Ben, you can be privileged and still have empathy. Thanks for listening. Please like this video and share it with family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more Right Response, breaking down conservative news.